the question of how and why the United Nations is the crux of the great conspiracy to destroy the sovereignty of the United States and the enslavement of the American people within a UN One World Dictatorship is a complete and unknown mystery to the vast majority of the American people. The reason for this unawareness of the frightening danger to our country and to the entire free world is simple. The masterminds behind this great conspiracy have absolute control of all of our mass communications media, especially television, the radio, the press, and Hollywood. We all know that our State Department, the Pentagon, and the White House have brazenly proclaimed that they have the right and the power to manage the news, to tell us not the truth, but what they want us to believe. They have seized that power on orders from their masters of the great conspiracy. And the objective is to brainwash the people into accepting the phony peace space to transform the United States into an enslaved unit of the United Nations One World Government. Hello and welcome to Black Helicopter Radio. My name is Ed Walker. Just a quick note, all the music on this show has been recorded by me. Uh, I'm pointing that out for two reasons. Just uh, just so you guys know, if it's you know it's kind of raw sounding, that's because it's literally me on my uh, PC uh, doing all the instruments. Um, also, if there's any people listening say, eh, copyright, you know, because they're cover songs. Nope, it's recorded by me. You're allowed to cover music. It's not copyright. So, with that being said, today is the 23rd of September, and... Um, yeah, today I'll be talking about conspiracy reality. It's a term that I uh, thought of when, oh, well, I'm sure it's been used before, but when I had Ralph Epperson on, he said he's a conspiracy realist. And I like that term. I mean, sure, I mean, there are some things in conspiracy that obviously involve some theory making because we don't have all the pieces to the puzzle, but some pretty strong theories. But the point of this broadcast is there's some th uh, conspiracies that, to me, are just so clear that I don't see how you could call them conspiracy theories. I mean, to me, in my world, they're just conspiracy fact. It's just so uh, conclusive. I mean, a lot of times it's just, uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes the mainstream will admit some of these, but then they'll always spin it, you know, like, well, it's it's good that we have that, you know, it's a, they're trying to set up a global government, you know, because it'll end war. But, um, yeah, so what I'm going to be doing to document that is just having a bunch of clips, um, quotes, actually, yeah, more so quotes, because I think those are the uh, the best way to show that there is a conspiracy at work. And, um, yeah, just things like that. I know a lot of you listening are probably thinking, I mean, because, you know, I'm, a lot of you are probably awake as it is, so you're, you're thinking, Ed, why, uh, you don't need to prove that to me, I already know that. But, um, for one, I mean, I think you'll, uh, it'll be interesting and in, uh, just to hear what I what I say about it and everything in my analysis and also it's it's good just to have these quotes down you know you can always show these to people I find these is a great way to actually get people to maybe be more open to the idea that uh, the world is going in a direction controlled uh, by the the few which I mean is is pretty easy to show I mean you know the, the people in power it, it's just such a small number compared to the, the rest of us that it's amazing you know how the, the few control the many is really what I'm trying to say here just how the few control the many and and showing that that is the case um, so yeah uh, that's what the show will be about uh, just to get this in here the website is blackhelicopterradio.com that is my website uh, you can listen by going to uh, if you want to listen not on YouTube but go to our actual blog talk player which I think is a better way to listen just because on YouTube you got you know you have to go through each video I have like six or seven parts or whatever this way you just listen to it in full it's blogtalkradio.com slash antimatter zone all one word blogtalkradio.com slash antimatter zone so yeah that's uh, for the blog talk uh, I put up my Chris White interview for Tuesday um, on the 21st and man I thought that was that went pretty well I like uh, his work um, Although I don't call myself a Christian, I consider myself 
to be a theist, not atheist, but someone who believes in God, meaning a theist, I believe in a creator, God, so um, I'm still, uh, the way I look at it as far as spirituality, I won't spend too long on this because that's not what this uh, specific broadcast is going to be about, but as far as spirituality goes for me personally, I just, uh, it's all about differentiating between the real uh, wisdom and knowledge of the uh, creator. I believe in intelligent design. Uh, the or some it's also been called the source or the d the divine versus the words of man. So that's what I'm trying to decipher through. It's you know it's hard you know because you don't know if what you're reading or hearing from someone is truly divinely inspired or if it's just a uh, you know man. And um, so I, and it's hard because you never know when you're being deceived. So anyways, to just make just to put it simply, I'm still developing my uh, spiritual truth as it is so with that being said I guess I'll go ahead and get into the information I have for you all okay so like I said I'm gonna be, start out with some quotes just to get this rolling and let me see I, I really like this one right here it's very simple and to the point we are on the verge of a global transformation all we need is the right major crisis, crisis, and the nations will accept the New World Order, which was David Rockefeller in 1994. So let's just fathom that for a second. These uh, elite people, they want a New World Order. They actually say all we need is the right major crisis, and the nations will accept the New World Order. So this not only implies, uh, look, I mean, he uses the term global transformation. So yeah, there's so much just in this little quote. He, he implies we need the right major crisis, which brings up you know false flag terror, or you know whatever false flag. I mean it's something that the, most likely they will be constructing, and um, global transformation to the new world order, which means global transformation to a global uh, government, basically new, you know new world order. And the term new world order, I, I've really been analyzing and. It, I think it goes far beyond uh, just the uh, political implications of a global government, you know, run by the UN. It is a very occult term, as I will uh, show you in just a second. So right now, I'm going to just play that short, famous clip of George Bush talking about the uh, New World Order, and then I will go into some of the more occult connotations of it. Of its founders, we have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations, a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. So yeah, there's the term New World Order, which is used by all these uh, elites uh, for a long time now. It has a long history behind it. And uh, if you listen to the last broadcast I did with Chris White, I mentioned how that has far uh, grander implications than just political. And um, actually, I'm not going to go too far into that today because, uh, I mean, I, that requires a lot more research. I just, uh, it's really, really huge. Uh, the fact that these occultists use the term specifically New World Order and then these politicians would pick up on it. That right there shows you uh, some evidence of the Illuminati New World Order conspiracy. So, uh, with that being said, I'll go further into some of these quotes. Alright, this one's a pretty famous one. I mean, this is just, man, right in your face. They are so bold and they know the vast majority of people are just totally ignorant of this. This is Henry Kissinger, one of the major uh, globalists. Today, America would be outraged if UN troops entered Los Angeles to restore order. Tomorrow, they will be grateful. This is especially true if they were told that there were an outside threat from beyond, whether real or promulgated, that threatened our very existence. It is then that all peoples of the world will plead to deliver them from this evil. The one thing that every man fears is the unknown. 
When presented with this scenario, individual rights will be willingly relinquished for the guarantee of their well-being granted to them by the world government. Bam! Right in your face. So, um, yeah, it, it's funny how they actually, the, the last two quotes I just mentioned go hand in hand. You know, they, they say, uh, we need the right ma the major crisis from David Rockefeller, and then he's saying if there was a, this threat. So that's all, that is such a consistent theme in this uh, grand conspiracy is constant state of fear, threat. You know, it's just, and 9 11 is obviously the perfect example. They brought down those towers and just use that fear as a massive way for a tool of manipulation for the average person to say take my rights government I don't need civil liberties I want you to keep me safe I'm a coward the big bo the boogeyman in in uh, Afghanistan are going to come get me you know so they always talk about using uh, threats from beyond uh whether real or fake he even goes as far as to mention to uh you know get their new world order through and with that being said I'm going to put a clip in here of uh actually Ronald Reagan talking about a hypothetical um, alien invasion coming to our planet and how we would all unite and this is all tied in with uh, with what uh, the th people in the Theosophical Society say and, and yeah here is this uh, clip let me get it for you perhaps we need some outside universal threat I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. And yet, I ask you, is not an alien force already among us? What could be more alien to the universal aspirations of our peoples than war and the threat of war? And, uh, yeah, so there he is pushing, you know, this idea of a alien threat to unite the world which a lot of people will theorize, including uh, Chris White, who I interviewed last time, think they may use to get their New World Order. It would be an actual extraterrestrial th uh, threat. It'd be fake, but, uh, you know. And I think there's something to that, because, I mean, you look at the hype in the mainstream of all UFOs, and the Catholic Church comes comes out saying, you know, there could be aliens. Recently I heard, I think it was the Pope, or someone high up in the Catholic Church said they would uh, baptize an alien. <laughs> Which is actually kind of hilarious, but anyways, yeah, it's just all this hype with aliens and 2012. So, you know, it's a it's a valid theory. It's it's hard to say what they'll do. I mean, they could just be uh, feeding us, you know, disinformation to steer us away from the truth. You never know. But that's what we do here at Black Helicopter Radio, just to analyze it all and bring up the different uh, points. So yeah, and th I posted that because I mean that goes into the whole thing. You know, using this outside threat to get us to accept their new world order. It just uh, and this also ties in with my show on uh, public relations propaganda. Edward Bernays, just how they they know how to manipulate people. They they can use all of our emotions and everything against us. And so yeah, there's that clip. Let me go to the next one. This is Paul uh, Warburg. We will have a world government, whether you like it or not. The only question is whether that government will be achieved by conquest or consent. So that's another pretty famous one. Uh, that one just has a really creepy fascist tone to it, you know, whether you like it or not. I mean, that guy's just being straight up, just, uh, hey, slaves, you're going to have a world government. You can't stop it. It's coming. Yeah, that one's pretty uh, self-explanatory. Oh, but no, there's no push for world government. This is... The question of how and why the United Nations is the crux of the great conspiracy to destroy the sovereignty of the United States and the enslavement of the American people within a UN One World Dictatorship is a complete and unknown mystery to the vast majority of the American people. The reason for this unawareness of the frightening danger to our country and to the entire free world is simple. 
The masterminds behind this great conspiracy have absolute control of all of our mass communications media, especially television, the radio, the press, and Hollywood. We all know that our State Department, the Pentagon, and the White House have brazenly proclaimed that they have the right and the power to manage the news, to tell us not the truth, but what they want us to believe. They have seized that power on orders from their masters of the great conspiracy. And the objective is to brainwash the people into accepting the full peace space to transform the United States into an enslaved unit of the United Nations One World Government. Hello and welcome to Black Helicopter Radio. My name is Ed Walker. Just a quick note, all the music on this show has been recorded by me. Uh, I'm pointing that out for two reasons. Just a uh, just so you guys know, if it's you know it's kind of raw sounding, that's because it's literally me on my uh, PC uh, doing all 